Zara Designer Pro doesn't have all the features of a dedicated modeling program such as 3D Studio. It can only extrude a shape, but you can get creative and design some really nice dimensional scenes by getting inventive and using Zara's Extrude tool. I'm going to extrude this star shape that I just created with the Quick Shape tool to create sort of a Roman column. First, I choose the Extrude tool, and then I click the 3D button to set a default amount of extrusion. Then by dragging on the shape's face, I can rotate the shape. By dragging on the shape's side, you can extend it, making the shape deeper. Now I'll angle this a little so it looks more like we normally would view a column. And up on the info bar, I can extend the shape a little more by dragging the slider. Now that the shape is shaped correctly and positioned, I think the lighting on it can be improved. By clicking the light bulb button here, three lighting sources are revealed as screen elements. The color, intensity, and light direction can be changed. You can decide and redecide on lighting, and I think I've just decided that I was better off with the shape as it was originally lit. <laughs> to continue building this column, I'm going to cap the extruded shape and then paste its attributes. Not the shape itself, but I'm only going to paste its rotational direction and amount of extrusion to this new shape. First, I define a default extrude, then I select the column, the first shape, press Ctrl C to copy, and then I select this new extruded shape and press Ctrl Shift A. Or choose Edit and Paste Attributes, and bang! We got a cylinder now that has the same angle as the column, but it's too tall, so I'll squish it here. That's a technical term. And then make it a little more rounded on the face using the rounded slider. And because this is the most current shape drawn, it's on the top of the column of the page. So I move it into position, increase its size a little. I'll duplicate it by dragging right click dropping the duplicate. Control Shift B puts the shape down one level to the back of the stack of shapes. I select both of them and then drag and drop to duplicate them. Now these are in the wrong position and order, so I'll correct this there. They're both selected, I position them, and that's a pretty good Roman column. And yes, it was built in a day. Now let's get fancy and change the column edge by choosing the preset edge to rolled here. There's about 17 different edge types for extrusions. I think this project is finished, and all we need now is a potted plant to put on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> 